heart attack has increased so much nowadays and we see that many young people are coming with heart attack smoking also causes a heart attack if taken proper care then we can lead a healthy life you know always prevention is better than cure hello friends i am dr parijar dev choudhury consultant interventional cardiologist i practice at medithix clinic mukundapur kolkata today i'll talk about heart attack risks heart attack has increased so much nowadays and we see that many young people are coming with heart attack so what are the risk factor which is causing so high rate of heart attack nowadays one of the most important risk factor is diabetes actually in india diabetes has increased like anything and most of the household has one or two member who are affected by diabetes now if diabetes is uncontrolled it can increase the heart attack rate by around uh, 10 times uh, apart from diabetes if there is hypertension or high cholesterol again the heart attack risk is increased now high cholesterol whenever i am talking about i am specifically i am telling about ldl cholesterol ldl cholesterol is also called the bad cholesterol which can cause atherosclerotic plaque inside the heart and it can lead to heart attack now if ldl cholesterol is high triglyceride is high and hdl cholesterol is low there is increased risk of heart attack another important thing is smoking the young generation if we see the smoking rate has increased and smoking not only causes lung problem lung cancer copd and other things smoking also causes a heart attack so if there is associated smoking hypertension diabetes dyslipidemia the risk factor is very high another thing we have to keep in mind that if there is a heart attack in the family i mean if there is a family history of heart attack the risk of heart attack increases so people who have family history like whose parents or sibling are affected by heart attack or heart failure or other related problem they should be very careful because they are also very prone to heart related problem apart from this there are some other associated risk factor like kidney disease obesity sedentary lifestyle lack of exercise and dietary habit now dietary habit is very important because if our food is very high in fat high in carbohydrate and it is low in green vegetables and fruits the heart attack risk increases actually the best dietary pattern is mediterranean dietary pattern the diet which is low in carbohydrate low in fat but high in in green vegetables and fruits and low in salt that is very good for heart so if we want to keep our heart healthy actually we should follow a healthy dietary pattern we should go for regular walk at least 30 minutes of exercise daily any type of exercise like walking cycling swimming jogging whatever is comfortable we can do that and if we can control our cholesterol our diabetes and hypertension and if we can quit smoking then heart attack risk can be reduced now even doing all these things there still might be some people who might get heart attack so what to do what will be the symptoms and how can we understand that these people might be having heart problem so there are some specific symptoms which tells that this person is having heart attack like chest pain chest pain can happen in the central area of chest and this can radiate to our left leg can go to our jaw on the upper back chest pain which increases while walking and reduces by taking rest is typical of angina or cardiac pain even after taking sorbitrate tablet the cardiac pain or angina reduces the chest pain which is associated with excessive sweating or feeling of pressure or heaviness in the chest or a squeezing pain in the chest is very important it is typical of a heart attack pain now cardiac pain may be associated with palpitation it might be associated with shortness of breath or syncope sometimes there is generalized weakness nausea vomiting and other atypical symptoms now all these symptoms if present in a person then we should not just ignore those symptoms we should immediately consult a cardiologist to find out if anything is wrong in the heart if any of your family members or relatives or friends having chest pain and he goes to emergency then emergency ecg can be done ecg can detect a heart attack almost accurately 
apart from ECG, there is echocardiography, treadmill test and other various tests which can find out if there is any blockage in the coronary arteries. So if somebody is having heart attack and we, we want to save that person, the best treatment is doing immediate coronary angiography and clearing out the blockage. Now angiography actually many have uh, many people have many questions about angiography they are very scared and want to know about it so angiography basically is a test it is a very simple test it is a painless bloodless procedure and it is done under local anesthesia we don't even anesthetize the patient completely so patient himself can see whatever is happening angiography itself takes, takes only 10 to 15 minutes and by simple angiography we can find out how much percentage of blockage is there or if there is any serious block in the coronary arteries. If during angiography we find that there is a significant blockage that is more than 70% blockage then we can treat the patient by balloon angioplasty or putting a stent. Now stent actually is a very safe procedure. Many have this question, do we have to change the stent after a specific period? It is not like that. When we, whenever we put a stent in the blockage, the artery becomes almost like normal coronary arteries. The heart becomes normal like before. And it is a lifelong procedure. Patient can take medication and he can lead a normal life. After putting a stent or doing an angioplasty, the next day patient can go home and he can start his daily life. Nowadays, the stent which you use inside the heart is a medicated stent. So they release a specific drug which is very beneficial for the heart. So if there is a heart attack, we should not just live like that and the patient should be treated by angiography, uh, doing angiography and putting a stent or balloon. Now, if the blockage is very severe, if more than three blockages, severe calcification, multiple blockage, it might not be possible to treat it only by angioplasty, then the patient has to go for higher procedure like coronary artery bypass grafting, that is bypass surgery. Now again, bypass surgery is done by CTVS surgeon. This is also uh, almost a safe procedure and it can help the patient to lead a normal life. Now, after telling all these things, I just want to mention one important thing that is, you know, always prevention is better than cure. So, if we can prevent heart attack, that is much better than having heart attack and putting a stent. And what are the ways we can prevent heart attack? The most important is to lead a stress-free life. We should not put unnecessary stress on our mind. We should sleep at least for 6 to 8 hours daily should lead a healthy active life sedentary lifestyle should be avoided 30 to 45 minutes of exercise is very important our diet should be very healthy rich in antioxidant green vegetables and fruits and low in carbohydrate and fat and if we are diabetic hypertensive or having high cholesterol we should take medicine and treat that and try to keep it under control so all these things if taken proper care then we can lead a healthy life and I hope all of you should have a heart healthy life and should live happily. Thank you.